A brand new music festival is making its way to Sacramento. The Golden Sky Country Music Fest starts tomorrow over at Discovery Park. She had a big event last weekend. Yeah. CBS 13's Andrew Hobner is live to set the scene. Hi, Andrew. Hey guys, you know, it's pretty amazing. Talk about getting more bang for your buck, right? The only thing that really needed to change here was some iconography, but right through these gates just last weekend, you had roughly 145,000 people spread over four days for aftershock. In the very same gates, we're going to see what's projected to be roughly 25,000 people a day for the two day Golden Sky Festival. And the nice thing is for the city of Sacramento, these are about as two different of groups in terms of the music they're listening to as you can get. Aftershock is a lot of hard rock and metal. This is country music, so you're you're trading in mosh pits for line dancing here. Here. But this is one thing that the city has been working really hard on diversifying what brings tourists in and music festivals in particular because people come in over a multitude of days and while doing so get to see the city maybe a little bit differently. Typically, the event doesn't start until afternoon every day, so that means they're having breakfast and probably lunch somewhere in, in our hotels and in our restaurants. And then when they get out, they're not going to their hotels to go back to bed. They're going to restaurants and bars. So the economics extend past the festival, uh, and it is a great way for them to get familiar with our city. Visit Sacramento CEO Mike Testa says that the city is investing in these types of drivers because it brings people in the way that conventions did. And during COVID, what started to happen was you couldn't get everybody inside during conventions. So what do you do? You look outside and music festivals is what they came toward. So coming up at five o'clock, you're going to hear from Testa again about why these things can help people see Sacramento as a little bit more than a government town. And if you're a country music fan, this is where you want to be this weekend. And Tim McGraw, Brothers Osborne, who are different from the Osborne brothers, and <laughs> Sam Hunt, all going to be headlining for this weekend. So it should be a lot of fun.